Cross-country investment has transformed one town in southwest China's Tibet Autonomous Region. Once a timber farm, now a tourist destination. And how did it happen? CGTN's Nicole Neng has the story. Logging used to be one of the main ways of life in Lulang. Here used to be the Dongjun Forest Farm. The people live like others, with working, logging, and selling products. But the trees now serve a different purpose, tourism. It's all part of a project kick-started in Guangdong, the other side of the country. Before the town was built and developed, we knew the environment was good and the natural scenery very beautiful. Xiongying's team's focus is on things like waste collection, sewage and other infrastructure, leaving business to develop largely on its own. It's proven to be a good formula, incomes growing by up to 15 times and a growing incentive to keep the environment pristine. But scenery isn't the only thing the town has going for it. Lulang has only been open for several years, but those developing this tourist town are hoping that its location on China's longest and arguably most famous highway, the 318, will help bring those tourists in. Many of these are self-driving travellers. This man has come all the way from the coastal city of Qingdao. We thought this place isn't bad, so we stopped and set up camp. These beautiful spots are all on the road. If you take the plane or the train, which we could if we wanted, we wouldn't be able to see a lot of the scenery. For this couple, it's their second time visiting. The first time, they said, felt too rushed. In 16 days, we traveled 7,600 kilometers. We moved through really fast, driving eight or nine hours a day. We couldn't stop at many of Tibet's sites, so this time we wanted to move slower, experience the journey. Scenery and slower travel, supporting a new way of life in Lulang based on tourism, for what's hoped to be many more years to come. Nicole, CGTN.